tonight. Your story is all about mathematics. Dr. Lynette Mohati, who is the first ever doctor of pure mathematics at the University of Eldoran. Now, it took her 10 years of hard work, determination, and persistence to complete her PhD. Well, the story was suggested by her students, who through her example have learned that maths is not as difficult as many believe, and like her, eat maths, sleep maths, and think maths. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Being a doctor in mathematics, uh, having a PhD in mathematics is not a mean achievement. The biggest problem we have in Kenyan education right now, and even Africa at large, is having lecturers at PhD level. And this time, I'll give you root two, e raised to i, pi over four. There are very few ladies who have PhDs in mathematics. And so our fear normally is uh, she may easily be poached and go somewhere else and to do something else which will be very disastrous <laughs> because they are very marketable. For now I am the first and of all people a lady. <laughs> so everybody is so scared of Mrs. Muhati. <laughs> they imagine my head is not normal. <laughs> so last detail. <laughs> Maths, I have told all students is a discipline and if you want to do it you must as i started off you just must accept to be obedient because it humbles you into accepting a certain way of doing things at the University of Eldoret, which was once known as Chepquelel Campus, a constituent campus of Moi University, at the School of Science, Department of Mathematics and Computer Sciences, 56-year-old Dr. Lynette Naswa Muhati breaks down an important concept. Let us differentiate this function with the respect to Z. For Lynette, I would say she is probably among the five in, the, in Kenya for pure maths only. Does it make sense? But for such statistics, we are quite a number. And for applied, they are also quite a number. She teaches both masters and undergraduate students. Pure mathematics is actually where the formulas originate from. Applied maths borrow from pure mathematics. So this child called pure is really, it's an abstract. It is where the original mathematics come from. Many girls shy away from it because, like, in our class here, we are just two out of the, like, almost the more than ten. So once the ladies see that, they get the straight away fear. If you go through her hands, be sure that you have something to offer to the society. I can teach because she is my role model, so I can offer teaching. I am also interested in research. Dr. Muhate's love for maths can be traced back to her childhood. My father had that sense of just making me realize I'm able to understand the concepts of maths. Because when we were in primary, we used to, to be given homeworks. And when we would sit with him, as you do the homework, he would appreciate and say, you are good. And that love enabled her with distinctions in maths at both O levels and A levels to pursue mathematics and computer science at the Kenyatta University. Graduating in 1985, she then taught at a secondary school in Embu, then at Kitale Girls, now known as St. Monica's Girls, for 12 years, winning many awards as the best mathematics teacher in Transnzoya County, then as a deputy principal at Kesogon High School and principal at Sabwani High School. But upon realizing that the principal duties left her with little time to actually teach mathematics, she relinquished her position and went back to the University of Nairobi to pursue her master's degree program between 2003 to 2006. She was then hired as an assistant lecturer of pure mathematics at the Masinda Muliro University in Kakamega. Chapkwalel came calling in 2007. So far we are only three female lecturers teaching in this department. We have had these very small numbers. Even before Lynette joined this department, I was all alone. If we call our MN to be 1 over N, 3 over 2. We have been uh, using her to help us uh, mentor the girls. Our achievement in attaining a PhD in pure maths, we are happy that we are also going to strengthen our program of postgraduates. She began to pursue her PhD at Maseno University. That one was the struggle. <laughs> 
I started in 2009 and I worked until last year. I almost clocked 10 years. <laughs> but I was happy. It was not some shortcut that I would uh, maybe go about and fluke and come out. I thank God for the Maseno people. My thesis title was The Essential Spectrum and the Essential Numerical Ranges in Banach Spaces. Squeezing all these things into the space can make you sleep much, think much, and eat much. <laughs> Her achievement was a mega fit also for her family, the first PhD, setting her up as a trailblazer. This year, I'm going straight away to my PhD because she has proved that it is possible. Route 2, and we are again multiplying this with Route 2. But there are things that worry her. People are making academics to look like it is a dying giant. People are taking people who don't even understand anything. They are given an area which calls for understanding. And then those who know retrieve and the things just die off naturally. So our debts are things that we can work on so long as the government can appreciate the knowledge of those people that have taken time to study in those areas. Nonetheless, she continues to teach, knowing that each lesson each student is part of her legacy. Dorcas Wangera, Citizen TV, your story.